We'll quickly be looking at another syndrome, and this is what is known as a Sturge Weber syndrome. Sturge Weber syndrome. Okay. So for this Sturge Weber syndrome, we say that it is also known as what? Encephalotrigeminal angiomatosis. It's a rare congenital disorder characterized by what? Neurological or some skin abnormalities. So one thing I know is that your skin will be red. That's what they call a port wine stain. Okay? Because there are some capillary ab abnormalities and all of that. Your skin is red, alright? So there's port wine stain. It's a characteristic breath mark that is present at breath, usually on the forehead. It could be on the upper eyelid or some side of the face, okay? Or anywhere at the body at all. The neurological complication. So abnormal blood vessels formation in the brain surface leading to seizures, okay? Glaucoma. Other symptoms is like cognitive impairment because of glaucoma, developmental delays, migraines, and all of that. So for types, you have the one that involves facial and what? Leptomeningeal angiomas, including glaucoma. Type 2 is characterized by facial angioma without cranial, intracranial disease, but with a possibility of glaucoma. Type 3 consists of what? Leptomeningeal angioma without what? Facial angiomas or cutaneous nervous. Okay. Because this is genetic mutation, all right? So the GNAQ gene. So diagnosis is just clinical observation and all of that. Imaging studies to see this vascular abnormalities. Treatment is try to uh, give medications for what all those seizures that they'll be having, laser treatment for port wine stain, the regular monitoring for what glaucomas. All right. So this was Sturge Weber syndrome.